Hey, welcome to this radio channel and here's a little tip for all of you out there plagued with interference. That includes me and includes probably the majority of us listening to the radio. There's a great tool that you can use to pinpoint sources of noise and the tool is your portable receiver. And any portable receiver will do. I mean, now I'm uh, showing you my Texan PL680, but it could be, you know, even a Texan PL or a Texan R9012 or a little analog portable that doesn't have much more than just, you know, an analog tuning dial. It's just that if you don't have a signal meter, uh, you'll have to listen by ear. So you'll know when noise is, you know, more prevalent when the noise is stronger and you can hear it. So you'll have to use your ears. But if you have a signal strength, not only can you use your ears, you can also view it on the signal strength. All you need to do is tune the medium wave band. Because portable receivers are made that shortwave uses the telescopic antenna or any other antenna that you plug it in. But the medium wave of these portables is always with a ferret rod. A ferret rod is a uh, basically a little metal rod inside the receiver that has hundreds or if not thousands of turns of very very thin wire. And what that makes uh, of a characteristic is that it actually enables a very very directional antenna. So a ferret rod is directional at its ends. So basically here the ferret rod is in this, the sense of the uh, receiver is this way. So the ferret rod is that way. If you're not sure, you can try and locate it maybe by looking, searching on the web or uh, just opening the case and looking inside. But remember that each end is where the signal is at its strongest and at 90 degree angle, well, that's where the signal is weakest. So it means that here I got noise. And if I turn, notice that I nulled the noise. It's very low around here. But it's pretty high around here. Meaning that the, sink, the source of the noise comes either that direction or that direction. In my case, I know it's that direction. It's my laptop's power supply. And you can see that I can null it because when I put it perpendicular to my power supply, there's almost no noise. So two things you can use here is first of all, understand that by tur turning your radio on medium wave, you might be able to remove some of the interference and listen to your favorite station, but also pinpoint where the noise might be coming from. So you can go through your house and you know, turn your radio and try to pinpoint where is that noise, noise source coming from? It's a very useful tool and it's very easy to do uh, with a, a receiver that's on the AM band. Very important, you gotta be on either long wave or medium wave, the only bands that use the ferret rod antenna inside the receiver. So uh, have fun trying to find out your noise source in your home and hopefully uh, understand a little more why you've got some noise when you listen to shortwave. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And if you have any suggestions of videos or anything you'd like to see, let us know. Thanks for watching.